um, he's delusional, you know. He's, uh, that's for sure. Oh. 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 Yo, honestly, like, this whole Kim Kardashian talk, I met her before she went to Utah. Look at the photos she posted before she went to Utah. She was in L.A. You fucking retards. Listen, she was my girlfriend. She you know, it's enough. It's fucking enough. No, I'm not. I'm not his girlfriend, for sure. Even I'm not a friend. She can give Kim K a run for her money. She was my girlfriend. Guess what? I may get back together with her. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't, I'm probably not. I'm already approaching some other girls. I was in Hermosa Beach today. I got some chicks number today. You know, one bitch was really stuck up, and then I went to, went up to another girl. I was approaching girls at gyms because like nobody wanted to, no no dudes wanted to fight, so I started hitting on girls. So like I'm telling you, man. Like yeah, I already saw Kim. If it happens, if she dumps Kanye and goes with me, great. If it doesn't, I'm gonna get another girl that looks like this. I'm the champ, man. Either way, it's a win-win for me. Yo, this is Downey B. This motherfucker here knocked the fuck out of Wilder. Believe it or not, this is the real. He's real. I wouldn't fuck with him. This motherfucker here knocked the fuck out of Wilder. I sure did. Yo, this is Downey B. This motherfucker here knocked the fuck out of Wilder. Mental Stanway. I, okay, fine. Let's bet on the next recorded fight. Because you, you know I'm going to have hundreds more of those. The next fight that gets recorded does not have to be in the ring. The next fight that's on video could be 218, 219, 220, 221, 222, 20, 300, 400. Listen, I'm going to continue fighting for a long time. Now, the next fight that is on video, let's make a bet. $1,000 that I win. Either by knockout or by points. Meaning KO, TKO, or points. Let's do it. The next recorded fight. If I smash somebody again in a street fight, no. I'm going to win with gloves. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm probably going to take my, my homie with me, the one that just got out of prison, so he, he can record it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to for sure have 218 recorded. Like, I'm going to make sure. But, but in general, another thing, Mental Stanley, you're mentally sick, dude. Wait, didn't you admit that already? You call yourself Mental Stanley. You said it's not Charlie Z, it's not Ali, it's Mental Stanley. <laughs> oh man, I was telling my pops today, man. I was telling my homies, man. That we're, we're laughing at you, man. The, my fans, you seen. You knocked the fuck out of water. Yeah, we're all laughing at you and all the, all your delusional haters. You admitted yourself that you are Mental Stanley. You said, I mean... And now you're saying, oh, it's a, it's a cool nickname. No, it's not a cool nickname. You, dude, who would want to be called mental? Like, see, and, and you also admitted that your middle name is Stanley. See, I was right, man. You're a fucking retard, man. <laughs> mental Stanley, man. Mental Stanley forever. <laughs> mental Stanley calls the champ a bandwagon NBA fan, but the truth is, you're a bandwagon NBA fan. How the fuck can you be a fan of two teams? That's a bandwagon right there. You're going for two teams. Bulls and Pistons. Two teams. Why not one team? Who's your who's your main team? You don't have you have two teams. You're a bandwagon right there, retard. It doesn't matter if I was a Warriors fan and a Cavs fan. The point is whenever I rooted for a team, I had only one team. You can't be a Warriors fan and a Cavs fan because they're rivals. They played in three straight finals. The, it doesn't matter. The point is you're a Bulls and a Pistons fan. You're a fucking bandwagon, you fucking dumbass. I'm the greatest boxer of all time. I can root for all fucking 30 teams if I want to. Do you understand? I can root for anybody. I can Today I can be a Cavs fan, tomorrow I can be a Warrior. It doesn't matter. I'm the best boxer in the world. You know, I'm a Charlie Zonoff fan. 
I win every single fight. You notice that? I, I'm always rooting for myself, man. Always, man. And I always mental Stanley. My pop said that you're worth 59 cents, man, because when he did the people search, <laughs> I didn't think we found out your full name, you retard. Yeah, man. <laughs> Nicholas Stanley Schneider. That's why I called you Mental Stanley. I gave you that nickname. Retard, you called yourself that. But you know how much it costs my pops? To search everything about you. All your addresses, your fucking everything. Your date of birth, your full name. 59 cents, man. You're worth 59 cents. <laughs> you know, you know how 50 cent, you got rabbit. Right, yeah, you, you could have a, uh, like a, a, a cold nickname. 59 cents, bitch. <laughs> Whew, man, La laughing my ass off at this retard mental Stanley and that retard troll TV, you fucking moron. You're like, hurry up and go assault somebody. I, I don't assault my opponents. I beat the shit out of them in legit boxing matches, mutual agreements, man. So basically, you're, you can't wait to see me win a fight. Like, see, you're, like, yeah, you hate me, but at the same time, you love watching me. Like, you want to see me lose... But I never lose. But it's like, you, man, it's like you just want to see me fight. Like, I don't know. You people are sick. You're, you're psychotic. You're obsessed. Like, yeah, you're negative. Your negativity, you know, you're, you're obviously my haters. But at the same time, you like whenever I win a fight, you're the first you're the first people to click on my fight. You people are fucking nuts, man. You haters need professional help, man. I'm the best. Oh man, see, it's just, it's just gotta laugh at these retards, man, you know? Fuck, fuck talking to them, man, but they're mentally ill, man. Like, like, Troll TV already said, he's like 218, oh man, go assault somebody, man. Fuck these people, man, look, look at the fan, man. You knocked the fuck out of water, man. That shit was genuine as fuck, man. You think he was the only one that said that? The whole fucking gym said I knocked water out, man. The staff said I knocked water out. Okay, there was literally hundreds of people at the gym. Okay, I didn't show every single person, but I showed a lot. I showed at least, like, 30 people the fight. They all said I'd be wilder, man. Everybody. I mean, it's like, everybody, like, real, like, my, my ex-girlfriend. You know what? For that, maybe I should get back with it. Maybe I should just say, fuck the whole Kim K thing and get back with my ex-girlfriend. The one that, that was in my house recently. You know, because just because she said, yeah, but in real life, real people, like, respect them so much. Like, you all, she told you retard. Beat the shit out of Derek the Giant in one of the greatest matches in the history of boxing. One side of the fight, you know, before the full, full fight was released. Th th that was the full fight. I just slipped in the end. But... <laughs> but, you know, they talk shit. They're like, oh, you outboxed, uh, you know some nobody or you outbox some fat guy you know it's like but then when when i slipped and they're like oh you got you got knocked out you got knocked out no i did not fucking crush Derek. listen man Every, Derek the giant there's absolutely no controversy that was one of my easiest and best wins of all time when i punked chuck liddell still running them out talking shit oh you punked chuck in front of his family or or the day they said i'll make you you try to fight Chuck in front of his family, man. In front of his family. That's not cool, man. You try to fight Chuck in front of his family. My point is, you're proving me right. And no matter whose ass I be, whether it's on video, off video, you always talk shit. And when I get 218, guess what you're going to do? You're going to talk shit.